Good morning. Welcome back for another video. Today we are going to discuss the importance of putting a moisture barrier on your pole barn or metal building before you put the metal on. As you can see behind me here, uh, even in the wall, uh, the frost line is starting now to de defrost a little bit and temperature is starting to rise. So all of that moisture, uh, if you don't have something in behind the metal, prevent it from being to your insulation or inside of the building it's going to give you a problem and uh, truly I mean even if you're building a small structure put a moisture barrier up and you don't want to have to do all that work to take the metal back off in order to put a moisture barrier down you know after the fact however if you get it sealed up without a moisture barrier insulate it and uh, finish your interior walls uh, it's going to be a lot more expensive than that in order to have to uh, fix the problem. You, you know, so this video is an attempt to save you some money, save you a whole lot of time, and make it a better building for you. Okay? Let's let's take a look around and see what's going on. You can absolutely see the frost line on the side of the wall down there by the air conditioner. If we can keep the wood smoke from covering up the camera. Just an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you want your building dry, you need to put that stuff up, okay? Now on our building, we did have them do um, the aluminum, and it was a bubble wrap situation, but aluminum on the, the front side of it, and it had a white coating on the back side. And in hindsight, I mean, because it doesn't give you any insulation value, um, maybe two or three R factor, but it does provide an excellent moisture barrier. And the aluminum backing, uh, again, they turned the aluminum foil side up and started from the bottom of the wall and wrapped the building all the way around to where once it starts at the peak, the water falls inside the metal and it just simply sheds itself off to the outside of the, the building. So you never have that dripping down, again, onto your equipment or uh, this, this building's finished inside and I didn't want that dripping down onto the insulation and things like that, okay? Uh, again, just a real easy way to uh, make a better building for yourself is put the moisture barrier up and it's done. You won't have to ever worry about it, okay? Now this stuff is that bubble wrap that I was referring to earlier. And what you're looking at, this stuff's been up there for 20 years. So it has held up well. And again, it gives you a little bit of R factor, but you can use just any standard moisture barrier that you can buy at Lowell's, Home Depot, Menards, any lumber yard, and ask them as well. They'll tell you the importance of it. So like I said, now, you know, that moisture's not transposing itself to the inside of the building. Uh, and allowing all the insulation and things like that to get wet. Okay? Let's see if I can give you a view of the frost setting up underneath this carport here. And again, a moisture barrier. Uh, it doesn't stop the frost from getting on the metal, but once it starts melting, the moisture barrier will simply just run the water right down the side there and then off the edge of the building. And that way, everything underneath here is staying dry. Now, if you have a pole barn and you're going to be insulating, you definitely don't want all that moisture and condensation melting or just simply dripping down on your insulation because that's going to be a problem. What I'm showing you here is the underside of the awning which would be exactly the same way your pole barn would be if you do not have the uh, uh, moisture barrier on there. But you can see it dropping down here on the back of the truck. And, you know, um, I definitely wish I would have put a uh, moisture barrier up underneath this before. I mean, that's the reason we have an awning is to protect it from stuff like this, right? It's going to save you in the long run, even in the short run. I mean, you, you don't want this happening, you know. Uh, simple solution and it's not that expensive. 
what I have you looking at here now is our woodshed that is adjacent to the pole barn and we even put moisture barrier on that uh, there's really no sense in building a woodshed if you're going to allow all your moisture from the metal to drip down and continuously keep the wood wet and again that wood in there is dry as a matter of fact I'm going to lift you up right here and you can actually see a bubble I'm going to point that out for you because that's moisture that is condensated through that metal right here it's frozen but you can see that moisture barrier moving and that is the amount of moisture that is condensated under this metal from the frost just simply coming straight through and it still kept the wood dry because as it heats up it's going to actually allow it to run down the outside of the building there but finishing the inside of your building uh, obviously once you get everything the way you want it um, you want it airtight and you don't want to have to deal with any, with any type of moisture uh, so again the uh, uh, moisture barrier before they put the metal down I guarantee you your contractor will be glad to do it for you if you're building your building yourself again uh, any hardware store lumber yard and it's normally about a hundred hundred and ten dollars a roll uh, they are typically in 150 foot rolls by nine feet in width and uh, simple to put down um, and always keep in mind that you are starting from the bottom and working your way to the top you want water to shed off the roof down the exterior of the wall to the ground that way it never gets into any of your insulation or finished uh, interior walls as well okay simple to do and it will save you a ton of time uh, and a ton of money by the time it's said and done uh, with your building. Even if you're not intending on finishing the inside, um, having that moisture barrier is going to protect anything that you have in the building from, from water. Water on the interior of a building will do more damage than anything else. So yeah, I, I really do hope this is saving you something because uh, once you have your metal up, it's, it's exceptionally hard to go back and try to do it after the fact. I do have a video called how an easy way to insulate a pole barn and I'm going to leave that in uh, the uh, description here for you. So you can go back and see how we actually finish the interior of our building. Again, uh, this is 20 years old now and we haven't had any problem with it. Um, as a matter of fact, on that video, I think in the comments I pinned uh, that we finished insulated uh, both ceiling and walls at today's prices for just under three thousand dollars and this building is 30 by 50 and nine foot ceilings uh, so again uh, we have an R factor of uh, I want to say R factor of 19 and maybe even a little higher than that so we have eight inches of insulation in the ceiling, eight inches or six inches of insulation in the walls. And uh, this building is just absolutely easy to heat and we enjoy it. So again, you know, if, if you're having something like this built, uh, the last thing you want to have to deal with is a problem that you can't easily fix, such as a moisture barrier before you put your metal on. And even your small buildings outside, again, you know, uh, if it has metal for the ceiling or walls, etc., uh, moisture will travel through the, the uh, material. Now, uh, shingling is different. Um, frost can't penetrate asphalt shingles. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's an exception to the rule. You still want to put down some type of material uh, such as felt or, or uh, uh, even a moisture barrier before you put your shingles down. So it really will save you a lot of money. Uh, it, it means the life of your building as well. Okay, So I really do hope this information is valuable for you because I think it's important. You get the most out of your building that you're having built or building yourself and uh, even right down to your small sheds. 
Uh, if you're building it yourself, take the time to put the moisture barrier on there and you'll never have to worry about it. And you most certainly won't have to take the metal back off in order to get the moisture barrier down where you need it. Okay. Uh, this stuff, this material is expensive and it's just a cheap solution in order to make a better structure for you. Now again, if you're finishing an inside of a building, you absolutely do not want moisture to be able to drop down onto your insulation and things like that because the mold hazards, um, just the overall damage, water damage that will occur over the years, uh, it's significant. So we have a friend of ours that has a, uh, it's a 60 by uh, 40 pole barn that he had built and he didn't do anything other than put the metal on because it's simply for his tractors never to be a finished building and uh, or at least so he thought you know so <clears throat> throughout the years parking his equipment in there uh, tractors etc and every time you know you have a heavy dew in the morning and, and uh, the metal condensates uh, his equipment is covered with you know moisture dripping down off of the metal onto his equipment and <clears throat> Again, with frost like this, as soon as it thaws out, the sun is going to allow that stuff to uh, thaw on the inside as well, and it just keeps his equipment covered up with water. Uh, it's almost like a car wash, you know, in the right situation. Now, and it's not an occurrence that happens all the time. There's sometimes uh, a quick frost or something like that, and you may not notice that, you know, but on other days when you have a lot of humidity in the air or something um, again his his building I mean the the uh, the gravel that he has down the rock never dries out in there that that building stays wet on the inside all the time so this is a solution for you that will absolutely make you happy with your building and you'll never have that problem okay I hope this information is valuable for you because Again, you're spending a lot of money to have something like this built, and you want to get what you want, and you don't want to have a bunch of moisture problems, okay? I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.